subscribe down below. We are, today is a was a busy, busy morning. I mean, my kids had to school in time. They had to take the bus today just because my car. I didn't know my car was so like sober as it was, and the time was already like clenching. So um, I just decided uh, if the bus was still coming, I'd just come on the bus. And luckily, like maybe like a minute after being outside, like in my car, like deciding, okay, just go on the bus. Uh, the bus was coming up, so they all like ran and they got on the bus. So they that was good. But yeah, it was all frozen and it's like crap. But uh, yeah, so they they were up early again today. It's like dang, like what's wrong with you guys? Sleep. At least you know sleep until like seven. Well, like waking up, but I think it was like six o'clock they woke up at. Today. But yeah. And I mean, I, mean, I want to care so much if we we had a house, I could care less. But we live in an apartment right now. We're trying to save money for a house, and it's six o'clock. A lot of people are still sleeping at six o'clock. I mean, come maybe like say eight o'clock. Majority of the people are gone, and I'm usually the only one home all day, like at the place until like. Maybe three o'clock. Well, like people start coming back at three, four o'clock. So yeah. But anyways, today is the day where I go to my specialist, my the OBGYN um, fertility specialist. So wish me luck. Um, hoping that they can help me out. You know, even though it's quite not been a year, it's only been nine months of trying. Um, they might. Hoping they might give me something, but they probably will just say it hasn't been a year yet, you know, blah 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 blah. But it's never taken me a year to get pregnant. The longest I think is four months, and with my last three, wow, with my oldest, I don't know because it just happened, but with my last three. Yeah, probably, you know, three months to get pregnant, four months. Yeah, but trying that, yeah, because all my kids, my, my my son and my daughter are 14 months apart, and my daughter and my other son are 14 months apart, so not that long to get pregnant. And, um, I mean, it could be from the surgery, you know, the little difficulty. They know I can get pregnant. I got pregnant before. Um, it's just taking a long time. So I'm hoping hoping they give me something or tell me just hopefully they don't tell me just you know relax it will happen when it happens i hate when people say that you you do try to relax you i am trying to relax it just naturally you, you tend to worry about trying to get pregnant but i have to that appointment um that's at 9 30 it's 8 30 now and i'm just gonna head out there now at the hospital and I have to find it. I know where the hospital is, but just the office itself, it's like I never been there. So, at least not office. I've been to the hospital plenty of times. But, uh, and then after that, I have another appointment at 11.30. I think 11, maybe 11, 11.30 maybe. One of those two. I'll find out in a little bit. And uh, that's my back. My back is still killing me. It still hurts. Um, I have a bunch of fluid built up in my lower back and up to my middle, mid, oh, a little bit middle of my back. And they can't remove it. So it's not an option. I mean, if they would, um, that would take away all my back pain, but. The doctor said you'll be in a wheelchair due to the because the fluid is pushing on my spine. And if they remove it, they don't know what could happen, and the, the likelihood of that would be um, messing up my spine and stuff. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, hopefully. Uh, we'll get some good news today. Catch you guys later. I'm going to try to 
do as much video as I can. I don't think I'm gonna video of my appointment. Just I don't know how that how that goes, but maybe if I had an easier camera, I can hide it. But I'll try to do some of it. Catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, it's the hospital. Man, the last time. Look at all those rooms. I'm on the third floor. Mm -hmm. I had my babies. I miss that. Hoping that it happens soon. Because even if it happens now, that's still nine, nine more months of it. And then I can't sleep until I see the baby. So we'll see what happens. But it should be a journey in itself. I haven't done this before, so you guys are all with me. So drop a like. When I was a kid, these were always my favorite thing to go through. These of us need wars. Okay. Bye, guys. Trying to find it. People will get lost in this place. It's actually a pretty big hospital. Like, on the outside it doesn't look like that. But on the inside it's huge. There are all these different... Um, all these different... Um, floors and hallways. Left and right and... We are hoping that... Hopefully you guys are enjoying your morning. Maybe those people on the warmer climates, lucky you. <laughs> Did it work? It's not moving, I pushed the button. Oh, we'll see. I want a little kitty. I think I, we need to have a kitty in our place, but my husband doesn't like cats. But I have to go through all of these doors. Three or four. Three separate doors. That's two. Three or four. Pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. There it is. We're here. Okay, so the appointment didn't go quite what I was expecting. Um. Oh. So they scheduled, my first doctor scheduled it because I was having, sorry, TMI, irregular bleeding. So they wanted to see why I was having that. Um, so long story short, the doctor, she believes, this doctor believes that I did have a miscarriage again in December, in between those two months. That um, on December 21st, I started spotting, and then on the 20, 23rd, or the 22nd, I got the, the faint positive, and then I took a digital test on Christmas morning, and it was negative, it was not pregnant. So she believes I did have an early, early miscarriage, more called a chemical pregnancy. So she did say, she thinks my tubes are fine, this and that, because um, I'm getting pregnant. Unfortunately, I'm not having the babies, but. So yeah, that was hard to listen to, that she believed that that was a, mis that was a miscarriage just last month. And um, that, could be explaining why I was spotting. She even said that it was probably due right around the time that you were supposed to get implantation plating. So, who knows? And that uh, she thinks that now this month is because it's out of black, it was because of the pregnancy. So, she said they can make an appointment for another specialist for a recurrent miscarriage. Um, normally at three they do it, but since I'm already at two now, 
um, she said that she would schedule it, and then at that appointment, they t I don't know what they talk about at that appointment, but just hoping that that's on Monday. So that's not that far away. Today's Thursday, and I hope I don't have anything else on Monday. I can't remember, but just that appointment. Ooh. Sorry. Just that appointment on Monday to talk to another specialist for recurring miscarriages. So hopefully... Um, I mean, that center there, they do some special infertility stuff. I heard over the phone, some, she was talking to somebody about insemination, which, I mean, that could help too, maybe. Um, and oh, she just said, you know, take the next couple months and next, like, sorry, my phone keeps stopping. Um, and stopping the video, so I have to keep pressing the video. Um, take the next couple months and see if you're pregnant and then come back and talk about it but now she labeled it as a pregnancy now I have to wait until December and the December of you know this coming year so it's gonna like what 11 months away I have to wait until if I don't get pregnant again which sucks but maybe I can try to get them to give me some fertility help but so I'm Gonna, I may be going to my next appointment. Maybe they will let me come early. Um, yeah, so it was hard. The floor that I had to go on was at the labor and deliver floor. And then, um, sorry. Um, so the nurse came on and said, Kristen. And I got up, she'll wait before you got up, just let you know that she had to run and deliver a baby. Oh my god, of course she did. Everybody who I have to see either is pregnant or now is delivering a baby. With my luck that I can't get pregnant, but the lady, you know, obviously. Congratulations to whoever had the baby today. But it's just hard. It's just so hard. She was like reading off each pregnancy and... Then, oh, my first one was 8 pounds, my second was 7 pounds, and the next one I kind of laughed. And she's like, a little early, it's, uh, a little smaller, 5 pounds in the car. And she kind of thought that was very, diff obviously different. Not a lot of people have babies in the car, especially by themselves. And then my next baby, my fourth baby, was only 4 pounds. But he was, he was early, so that's... Only reason what because I know normally your first is small and then it gets they get bigger as they you have more babies, but otherwise, my one oh, smaller, bigger the smaller, but oh well. So, I'm gonna drive now and talk to you guys later. Bye, hey guys, just here at the top of the now making a drink. They have like a little, still up a little snack area. Hmm. Yeah, about 20 minute wait here. And I can go home. Actually, I actually have to go back to Myers and take back a, take back something. And then go home. Should be yummy. Hopefully it's yummy. It's hot chocolate. See you guys later. I think they just called me. So my appointment was at 11.15. It is. I'm sorry, my appointment was at 11. And it's 11.15. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh, it's really coming down. And it's like a little snow globe. Alright, so I'm all done with that appointment. It's like an hour, 40 minutes later. I get, get in and get out. But. Okay, so. That doctor was from my back, and he was saying about my lumbar stuff. Um, my, pretty much my spine and my the fluid is pushing on it, and it's pushing on some of the nerves that like hurt it. So they can't do anything about it. Um, he said maybe. Suggested physical therapy, which 
I tried before and it didn't work. They actually made it first because they make me do all these different positions and movements that I normally don't do. So, he said that, um, you know, you can try it, you know, it might help my case a little bit for my SSI. And he will put in his notes what we talked about. And I even asked him, like, so what do you think about my bag? And he said, don't listen to any other doctor. I don't, I don't know what the other doctor told you, but some doctor might say, oh, yeah, we can remove it. No problem. And then you will be fine. All this. And he's like, don't listen to them. They are BSing you. Um, crooked um, doctors. And I'm like, yeah, I know. The other doctor told me the same thing. Like, they can't remove it. Like, if they did... Um, I'll be in a wheelchair and he even agreed with that and um, so yeah he agreed with that and even he said yeah I'm, he's like I wouldn't touch your back because you you would fall apart you know you everything would be so hard to put back together you had the rods in you and the screws so the way they make it sound they make it sound like it's horrible and I'm like, well, if my back is so bad like that, then why, um, why is SSI fighting, you know, so bad with this and not approving me and giving me such a hard time? He's like, well, you know, we don't know their protocol or stuff, but he's like, hopefully with these notes that are going to be going in there, you will get some help. Um, so yeah, and they said they, they, they say that you can try this job or that job. And he, he pretty much said, well, you know, either jo any job you have would put pressure on your back and sitting too long would put push pressure on your back and tailbone. I broke my tailbone in junior year. Yeah, junior year of uh, school. During cross-country season, I had to break it and my whole cross-country season was... Not my junior. I'm sorry, my senior year. I don't remember. It must have been my senior year I broke my tailbone because I was outside helping them build the homecoming boats. And only seniors and certain people can do it. So I think it was my senior year I broke my tailbone. It could have been my junior. Whatever. It broke and it hurts still to this day and it's been like about 10 years. Not 10 years. It's been like 12, 12 years since I broke it. I think I broke it when I was 17. So put it together. Yeah, that's right. 29. Sucks, but. So yeah, I'm leaving this place to go home and I'm gonna go take a little nap and get ready for my husband because he's gonna come home, I think, earlier than 5 o'clock and we're gonna get our kids at 5. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do my hair. We do my makeup and dress up for him. So, catch you guys later. Enjoy this cloudy, rainy, slow, snowy day. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. What I was gonna say is, I was just the whole time I was waiting um, for them to, for the doctor to come in. All those videos I did in the morning, somehow my phone connected to the Wi Fi. I mean, my phone is messed up. It sometimes connects to certain Wi-Fi's. I mean, it always connects when I get home, so I don't see why it's so difficult to connect anywhere or else. I get Chili's or Applebee's or at Denny's or Perkins. I can never connect, but this Pro Healthcare, um, I was able to connect and I uploaded all my videos and <laughs> it, it went really fast. Like, normally at home I have to upload at night or throughout the day when no one else is home and it takes it takes forever and I had like 10 video clips I'd upload and I uploaded them all at the same time and I mean it, at the end it, um, I think it took like 40 minutes for them all to upload which is amazing normally um, at home it, would, it wouldn't do that and I was able to like, group them and do them and they probably I'm like they probably think who's uploading and my husband's always <laughs> my husband my kids always like are you uploading and I never upload because of that issue at home. Because our internet is effed up and it's so crappy. I mean, it's not crappy, 
And they say it's supposed to be good, but it's always buffering and stuff. And when no one, no one is else is on it, and this is at like 9.30 at night when it starts doing creepy stuff. Stopping, playing, stopping, playing. And it, so my husband thinks somebody else is on the internet somehow they got on it. But, but anyways, yeah, it was pretty neat. I'm just sitting here uploading my last video. And since this video is shorter, I will just upload it tonight with my other video. So oh, I thought it was kind of fun. Just, you know, time, time management. Just do it. Why not just upload my videos and it works. So if you ever need to upload your videos and your home sucks, go to some doctor's office that has free Wi-Fi and just use their Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go take back a game and get some groceries. So, I'm gonna go home and go to sleep. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, 12 40 now. So, I'm probably gonna go home, get a shower, do my makeup, um, do my hair, my makeup, and then get all fancy for my hubby. I can be on the all ready for him when he gets home. So. Yeah, I can't believe today is Thursday already. The week has gone by so fast. Sorry, this road is really, really crappy. They really, really need to fix it. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Hoping, hoping that I get ready, get motivated to get ready to ask my hubby. But, uh, yep, just got home and going back out. So I'm making this quick little shopping thing at Myers, quick and then go home. So we should be, I should home before he gets home. He normally, he's working, uh, I don't know where, he's a pretty, pretty nice drive for him today. So it's a decent, uh, maybe like 30 minutes away from he puts in hardwood wood flooring, so yeah, he he goes wherever they need him. So yeah, this weekend is um, very exciting. We're gonna have two two wrestling tournaments: one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Um, so it should be fun. It should be a very very busy weekend. Hopefully, my husband uh, does some camera. Footage, um, so I can add some of his day into my day. My day, I mean, just, you don't see what me would, what I do all day is just sit at home, clean, and you know, do appointments with my kids. You know, we need to see his day, what he goes through. So make sure you guys drop a like and um, subscribe, and maybe um, leave comments on what you want us to do. Should we do some um, different type of pranks? prank channel. Um, it's Miguel and Kristen Pranks. Um, go check it out. There's not that many pranks on there and um, just don't really know what else to do. Because we can't, we don't, we agreed on no, no mean, mean pranks, no harmful pranks, no shaving eyebrows or waxing and just funny pranks. So drop a like and go check out that channel. Bye guys. Alright guys, so I'm just sitting here waiting for my hair to get done at, um, get some touch up stuff. It's got some on my forehead, but uh, well. So I ended up taking this pie in the face um, game bag um, to Myers. I just didn't like it um, just because it makes a mess and less mess um, we can make is awesome because I hate like messes. I know it happens with kids, but the less amount of stuff that could make a mess, the better. So the other day when I went there, um, what yesterday? I went there quick just to get some groceries. Um, I saw it there for $19.99. So I'm like, ooh, I get like 20 bucks back. I can get some more groceries and my hair stuff that I desperately needed. Um, so I took it back. They kind of gave me a uh, kind of like a, a little hustle, not hassle, but 
hard time with it. No way seat and stuff like that. But um, first time it came up, I could have sworn I seen 1999. And then the computer froze. It wasn't working, so then she moved it down to another computer. And then she rang it in again. It came up as like 12 something. I'm like, well, I'm like, it was just over there at 1999. She's like, no, it was at 12 something. I'm like, um, okay, well, the other day I looked on, I looked and it was here for 1999, so why isn't it ringing it up for 1999? She's like, well, I can't do anything without a receipt. I'm like, well, it still should come up 1999. It's not on sale. I'm like, this rang up the same price as the other one. I'm like, can I go check? Can I go grab the other um, game? And she's like, well, it, it doesn't matter. It's going to ring up at whatever it's going to ring up as. I'm like, okay, well, if that's saying it's 19.99, shouldn't this one be 19.99? I'm like, I'm gonna go. I want to go get the other box then. So I went back and I got the other box. I scanned it the self scan section really quick, and then sure enough, 19.99. I brought it back up. I'm like, see, this one is 19.99. I'm like, look, it's the same one. So, um, it's like, well, if this one's been opened, we can't we can't reuse it. I'm like, it's been used. She said that. I'm like, um, no. I'm like, we have never used it. And which we haven't. We never did. I mean, my kids opened it, but we didn't use it. She's like, I can tell the pieces have been used. I'm like, well, I can tell you that we haven't used it. So it was kind of like a big, like, thing. I'm like, well, I want the price that it's supposed to be. Like, it's saying on the shelf it's $19.99. I expect, I want it to be $19.99. So long story short, she finally did it for $19.99, but it was a little, a little um, difficulty with that, but I got it for my price that I was supposed to get it at. So it is time to go get this stuff on my hair. Catch you guys later. Okay, so my hair is going to be done in three, two, one. Hey, my hair is all done now. It's still kind of wet, but it's pretty much done. My hubby just got home, so hang on. If you get knocked down, you're out. Come off to the wall. If you get knocked down, you're off to the wall. Hey, if you step outside my circle, you're out. All right, so we just got home from wrestling practice a while ago. Um, we got to get back. She went to, um... Subway, and I got some yummy subs. How was your sub? How was your sub? It was delicious, but I didn't finish it out because I was full. It was pretty delicious. <laughs> it had a really yummy pickles on it. Yummy! Oh, that's much better. Yeah. So, yeah, we got pickles and turkey and mayonnaise and lettuce and tomatoes on it. Pickles, too! Oh, actually, pickles. Yeah. The pickles there are so good. And then we also got, my husband got steak and cheese sub that just came out. So that was, it was, I didn't try it, but it looked really good. How was it? Football players wearing undies. Well, they think they have to. What do you got to say? Nothing. Why don't you want to talk? Jesus. So, so. so yeah, I think my hair, how, how did my hair turn out? Not good. Turned out good. Yeah? Yeah. You didn't even notice. Yeah, I did. No, I had to say something for him to notice. Where's mom? No, I noticed. Okay. Will you tell me a bedtime story? Huh. Yep. What did you say? School is good today. Yeah? You had Bible club. Yeah. Bible. Oh, I saw the movie Bible club. It's more like a club. She's not really studying. You just you study about God. Oh yeah, God. Yeah. University. So one of the, the three kids tonight are already sleeping. He actually was sleeping when I was getting the sub. He fell asleep, and then after he ate his sub. He fell asleep. So he, he's out for the night until probably 6 o'clock in the morning. And right now it's 8.50 in the morning. Obviously, I'm not. But, 
I just had uh, sitting down for a second, cleaning up. <laughs> just cleaning up and vacuuming for the night and gonna get ready and get this one. Get this one to bed. Yeah, put you to bed. I'm tired. I bet. You had a busy afternoon. Yes, I did. What did you do, baby? Dad, what are you doing? I had to work. Oh, you got home early, didn't you? Give me your hand. No, but never Batman. What did you do when you got home? I said Batman! I got the kids in the restaurant. I don't want the flesh! Call me again. Alright, good night, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe and hope you guys enjoy my busy, busy day with all my opponents. I'm coming for you, Batman! I am over here. <laughs> <laughs> what the